every, every show we go to with all these guys, it's so much fun because everybody knows each other and uh, they're goofing off and I mean it's... Spoofing each other. Yeah, and I mean it's, you know, it's this close to brawls, but it's not really brawls, it's just fun. Yeah. Sometimes it's brawls. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking fuck you. I've been beat up before, I'll be beat up again. Yeah, I ain't gonna beat you. You beat me up, you fucking... I hate the scene, so don't fucking tape me. I've been taking the table sound. Oh, okay, yeah. They kill each other, it's okay, just don't blame me for it, you know. We're taking the table sound, half of the stool sound, and we fasten the speakers to the wall. I don't know, we were just going around, uh, we were having a good time to the GPI songs, and I was pitting around dancing, and the guy kind of like, you know, he like was boom, boom, like, you know, taking it all seriously, like going heads up like we were at football practice or some crap, you know. And the next thing you know, he was like, bam, trying to push me on the ground and like, like it was a fight or something. And I was like, whoa, man, like we're just dancing to the band here, trying to have a good time. I found a place. Security tossed him out. They seen what happened, so they have me inside. So obviously, you know, he was being a jackass. <laughs> Reservoir Tips, man, a kick-ass punk band from San Diego. We're doing pretty good, man. We got. social values, um, you got to fight for freedom, we, the whole shit, shit model was uh, the shit give it and the shit take it away, that was one of our models there for a while, it's sometimes we give a shit, sometimes we don't give a shit, we really don't. Uh, it was like dirt heads against the punks, it was not, it was hard, you know, it, was, it wasn't easy to be, it's not like it's socially acceptable or something or cool or something. It was not cool when I was a kid. I had to pick like alternate routes home when someone was around, you know, out. And you know, fucking boogers suck.
Chase the one says he wants to see Clay Power, power, get it blood Hell yes, hell yes, I think we should do it Power, power, get it blood Hell yes, hell yes, I think we should Why go to war? Be a fucking whore For me, for the power Why should I help them when they run to the core? Hey, 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 hey not somebody we know, it's some asshole that thinks it's a, everybody's there to fight. When we're just having a good time, and it's supposed to be a party. Oh, well, people see a, a, a gal with an accent on stage, man, singing country punk or punctry or southern fried punk, right, whatever you want to call it, and automatically, you know, they go, he must be a Nazi. Klan, 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 what's he doing? Let me tell you, kids, here's all I'm doing. I'm, I'm harnessing the energy of rock and roll. That's way different than that, fuck hole. You got that, and that, okay? So that's all I gotta say about that. And the famous words, Forrest Gump. <laughs> there's no such place as Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> it's fictitious. 
Yeah, that's all just a bunch of shit. We're we're just <laughs> you know we're just up there playing country pond. That's what our roots are. And boy, uh, we're smart too. I tell you, we're just smart. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna do a little song called Smoke Down for This is about perseverance. This is about sticking out tsunamis, broken down vans, whatever kind of bullshit keeps your band off the road. And when you're already starts bitching about your drinking this shit. Hey, Six months of my old Show up all of a sudden When I go busting down that door And I'm tall <laughs> Like, fuck, fuck it. First saw them well through going to CDPI actually. 
and uh, just loved them. They were excellent. So on. The Yux is basically a bastardized mutation of nothing. Exactly. The, the Yux is the one that one time they crashed the place. I wasn't here. That's why it got that way. Oh, okay. I was not here, believe me. I would have been here. It wouldn't happen. Oh, I got yeah. here a little bit too late. They knocked the trees and everything. We're throwing everything. I pulled the power out, turned the lights on, and hey, that's it, I'm out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I blame the kids. He says, no, 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 it wasn't the kids. Uh, everybody was into it anyway. So. Yucks. Yucks are not an easy group of people to deal with. I'll tell you that. But I'll also tell you this, dude. That's the last fucking real punk band alive, dude. You know? I'll tell you this, dude. Uh, when we tried to make their album, dude, man, we walk into the fucking studio and the guy fucking just picks up this dust off from like the computer thing. He's like, you know, and you're like, that's like the first fucking second he's been in there, you know, and he's like, like drew the dust off of the thing and I'm like, what is this a fucking joke, you know? And like they got like five DUIs between like the four people in the band and like they're real dude. They're they're real, like on Saturday and today is nothing. It's like come get me out of bed, you make me come. And now what am I gonna do? Gonna be your bitch. <laughs> I love you, you're my bitch. And I'm just gonna sink down to the water. And that's all I can do. What about the ups? Oh yeah, whatever dude. They can't even play us, man. They couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it for a full night. This guy I, made me punk rock. I turned rock. him into punk rock. Yes. But, uh, yes. Viva Chiva definitely fucking kicked some oh, fucking ass. Fuck, dude. We're there. And we love those Monday. fucking punk rock we girls. We love those punk rock girls. Scary, right? He right. doesn't know about punk, but <laughs> now he does! <laughs> No. Punk rock is this, dude. Punk rock is fucking homeboys. Rock. Homeboys, everyone yes. getting together, fucking getting stupid, yep. having fun, listening to good fucking music, dude. Fuck Not yeah, shit that's fucking disaster produced. This and punk rock is.
wheelchair. Come on. Your car's in a wheelchair. Right. 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 I love that. That'd be good. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> That's an interesting story. <laughs> well, I used to have a little bit of a drug problem with the, uh, with the age. <laughs> so there came the name of the band. Second or third grade, but yeah, like and they're him. great. The band's great. I'll, you know, I live up in Studio City, up in Hollywood, and I'll drive two hours to come see. You know, they're cool. I think I got my first DUI actually coming to the show. Right. Okay. Uh, we've been uh, together about five years, and it's been um, it's been a pretty uh, it's been a journey. You know, not like Lord of the Rings too, but like. Almost. But like Goonies or something, you know, like a shorter version of that where, you know, I think a lot of bands like are really into like playing a lot of shows and stuff. And not that I'm not into playing a lot of shows, but I really wanted to make like a solid product that like, you know, uh, people could relate to. How do you achieve that? You know, it's like, I don't know. I mean... I think you gotta have a cat. I mean, I think you gotta have a good logo. I think you gotta fucking really have like songs that kids can relate to. You know, and it's like I say this kind of shit, and people are like, "Oh, well, you're a fucking capitalist. You don't really care about the music." And it's like, well, you know, I care about like making a reality for myself. It's like this is what I do for a living. This is my life. I want to fucking play in a band, and I don't want to fucking work in a job. That's what, the whole deal. What was it like working? That's it. That's it, all of it. I fucking don't want to have a job. Well, right, this is our newest song. It's called When Push Comes to Shove. It's all about the Alright, you saw me. 
fucking punk rock, the shitty punk rock scene we have here. And it sucks. I think the Gizzards are really, really, they're a really good band. Even though I'm friends with the guys, I still think they're really good. Yeah. I told, uh, what's his name, uh, Matt? Matt, yeah. I said, Matt, if you have a speaker, bring your own, really, because I don't want to lose this. bass player at this ramp that I stole all the wood for. His name was Mike, and he came up to me, he's all, dude, we're starting up a skate park. Do you want to see him? I'm all, yeah, sure. He's all, well, can you scream? And I go, uh, I go, I go right up to his ear, I go, ah! And he said, he said, you're in the band, man. That was it. And so, you know, that was uh, 1981, and we're still doing it, man. I heard you wouldn't let anyone in the skates. So hopefully the whole band still skates. Like, oh yeah, still dude, skate? everybody skates, man. Nice. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, we're fucking totally. You got a pool. Have, we'll have you guys been to watch it? It's, uh, it's almost like a sport. You get up there and play for 30, 40 minutes, and you totally clears your mind. It's like surfing or skateboarding or it's like playing handball for an hour, man. Except you're not keeping score. It's just total. Total aggression, it's fun. I like playing fast. This the punk scene compared now to like when we first started the You know, it's funny because people ask me that all the time and it depends on what town you're in. Because some towns have new scenes, some towns have old scenes. 
Some towns have skinheads and fights, other towns there's like nobody, and other towns there's millions of people, so it really depends. And I think we draw kind of cool people like, you saw the dance floor was going, but not a single fight, because we're just, I don't know, maybe jerks don't come see us, because they know we're not about that. You know, and if you are a jerk, don't come see us, because <laughs> we're not into it. We're not into racism, violence, gangs, any of that crap. We're just about yeah, skateboarding. Like yeah, see, I'm old enough that the hippies used to hate us. That's what that Beach Blanket Bong Out song's about. Because right when punk came out, the hippies were all threatened. And in Huntington, they would drive around in cars looking for punks to beat up. So the hippies got really violent at one point. Not like patchouli 90 hippies. These are, oh, these, are, yeah. these are 70s down jacket hippies with Camaros. So... <laughs> Down jackets. Down jackets, with, man. With Camaros, how does that work? Oh, and they would just go chasing. <laughs> go chasing punks. They even had a gang called the Crop Dusters where I live. And they would like, there was a punk party and China White was playing, they would surround the place. And then as people came running out, they'd, you know, beat you up. So, times have changed. That was the best show ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot even out. believe it, dude. J-Fan is out, serious dude. shit, dude. Able serious. Charlie Brown, totally Beach right. Blanket Bong Out, hey, Baja, tell me this. Don't Walk Don't Run, Death Box. Death Box. That's a newer yeah. shit, but they played it. They're nah, down Death with Box it. Death Box is old as fuck. Dude. That's controversial. This guy knows. Death Box is old as fuck. You looking for a fight, dude? Or what? Always. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but I'd rather have a kiss. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. DPI, you can't go wrong. My boys. Even if they're a little off that night, they're still good for a laugh. Yeah, I met Mike and uh, those guys up in Breckenridge, Colorado. And uh, started tattooing them up there. And uh, then they moved out here and I came out here as well. And kept tattooing them. Cool. And uh, those guys are always up there um, brawling and fighting and everything. And so, whatever, they just came down here and they made a punk band and that's pretty much Works good. Uh, I, I think they're sick, you know. I think they should be on the warp tour or doing something else, you know. I think they're too much like, you know, they're having fun and just doing it because they love it. And they haven't, like, you know, really, like, went out and tried to, like, get involved in all these things. Right, so putting themselves out there a little more. I just think as soon as they, you know, they do that, you know, it'll be great. That's now it's just like, like, we're gonna fucking play anything and everything we can. Fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the fucking, that's the bond that fucking mends us together, man. It's like, fuck yourself, man. We just like having fun and fucking playing punk rock music. Straight. That's what I'm talking about. And I don't care about that, I think. And I think that's what I say. And I don't care because I think Baron has okay, but that's okay. And I don't care because I like punk and that's okay. Fucked up. I like it.
should try to you should try to fucking ask them for a cut of the booze because that'd probably be a hell of a lot more bang. Oh, fuck. You, well, you know what? What I'm doing? I, look, 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 listen Whoa, to me. No. Listen to me. Look, you fucking brought us. Oh. A, little, a little juice oh. goes on. A little juice goes a long way. Right? <laughs> no hopes, no worries. Nice. No pubs. No pubs, neither, no, man. I really don't. I really don't have it. No pubs, no poops, and no scoops. Oh. Yeah, fuck that religious shit. Absolutely no religion here except for okay, I'm trying to, trying to keep myself from imploding. And now we got a Calypso film. It was called White Trash Calypso. But, um, yeah, I think definitely the San Diego punk scene is fucking on the up and up lately. A lot of good bands. You smoke? Yeah. It's deep. It's kind of deep. You know, bands and shit. You gotta be cool, you know. There's sometimes when, you know, lines might be crossed and you're gonna be, you have, you know, some shit with a band, but that ain't how it really, you know, it works. Everybody's pretty cool with each other, you know, because it, you know, you're all there. You, Put shows together. They're, you know, they might be able to help you out with the show. They might be able to help you out with the show, which you know is really that's that's the basis of pretty much you know I'd say punk rock underground. Any any fucking any town that you go to, especially when you tour a lot, every town that you go to, people are always fucking complaining about the scene. The scene's fucking terrible. Our scene, this and that. These are all motherfuckers who grew up and and bigger towns who, who have scenes to complain about. Be fucking thankful that you have a scene to complain about, fuck all. Because there's a whole lot of kids that don't have shit. You know, they don't have nothing. Starving that, kids in Africa. They're starving kids in fucking Ethiopia. <laughs> Alright, are they still starving over there? Why don't I And you're bitching about your scene. You go out with your friends and fucking have some fun, get drunk, play some punk rock, and you'll have a scene. That's all there's to it. Uh, having a blast. I fucking love punk rock. Love uh, jamming out. Especially love all the people that come out to the shows and uh, fucking support. And have a good time with everybody. And uh, you know, looking looking to do do big things. Have a good time with it too. So look for us www.thewastefuls.com. We got to see you at a show. Come have a beer. Kick back. Have a good damn good time. We know what the fucking the reality is. The reality is for us. For me. For us is that there is no fucking goddamn path for us. We play with bands that go, fuck, that's what I've been looking for, a band like that, and that's who we link on to. And it's like a little fucking link arm shit. El Nada, <coughs> McJesus, Gizzards, fucking shit gibbets. They're like, these guys are as fucked up as us. They're as fucked up as us, and that's what we like about these guys. We're not trying to be like, we're trying to give an ooh and an ah. There's no oohs and ahs in our music. It's like, fuck yourself, go to hell in a handbag. And that's what we do, fucking A, B, and C. Hell in a handbag. There's no fucking other way. 
But every, you know, every generation reminisces to the good old days. And oh, I'm 77. There's no way I'll live to see some of these people that are pushing and shoving now. But I would give anything to see them reach the 60s and the 70s, see if they still reminisce when they were pushing and shoving everybody. <laughs> hey, you look the